When you save a document, the file on your hard drive is more than just a record of what you typed. Every document contains hidden information known as metadata, such as the document title and your name. It might also include keywords, reviewing comments, and other information about the document and how it was created. Microsoft Word stores this information as document properties. It's important to know how these properties are stored and edited, and whether or not you're sharing them when you distribute a document electronically. Properties are a useful way to identify and manage files when you have a lot of them. Sometimes the title doesn't tell you everything you need to know. A document's properties give you an overview of the file's contents and history before you open it. You've prepared a document, and it's about to be distributed to others. You need to review the document properties, add some keywords, and remove any personal information before it's sent out. Properties can be used to add searchable keywords to your document. These keywords can be read by the operating system and make your document easier to find. Let's add some keywords to this document. To begin viewing and editing document properties, we need to click the File tab to go to the Backstage view. The Backstage view opens to the Info page. At the right, we see a partial list of document properties. For a more complete list, we need to use the Show All Properties link at the bottom. We can see that many properties have been added to this document. We have a title, a comment, status, and the company name. Properties like this can be useful when developing a document collaboratively, but properties can also be used to make a document easier to find. Let's add some keywords, or tags, to make it easier to locate. Let's add a few words to describe the content and purpose of the document. We'll need to separate the keywords with a comma. We want to add more properties to our document, but this view doesn't give us much room to work with. Let's open the Document panel. We can do that with the Properties button at the top of this section, which will give us a few more options. This gives us a much better view of what we're doing and we can reference the document itself when adding keywords. We see the word topic used a lot in the document. We want to add it to the list of keywords, so let's click in the Keywords text box to add it. After organization, we'll need to add a comma, a space, and then we can type the word. The document panel is a good spot to work with our properties but the list is not complete. We want to double check all properties before releasing this document. So let's go back to the backstage view. In the comments section, we see a comment left from the reviewing process. It has some personal information, and we don't want to distribute that information with the document. So we need to remove it. To begin, we can click the Call Judy comment. This selects the entire comment with a single click. To remove it, let's use the Delete key. Our document should now be ready for distribution, but let's check it to make sure. In the middle section, we see the Prepare for Sharing area. It tells us what information remains in the document. We should check for all possible issues, so let's click that button.
This gives us a few different ways to check our document. We can check for hidden properties or personal information, content that may be difficult for people with disabilities to read, or compatibility with previous versions of Word. Let's make sure we haven't saved any personal information by accident. We have a warning message because we have unsaved changes in our document. So let's click Yes to save before we run the Issues check. This is the Document Inspector. In it is a list of the types of content it will search for such as comments, personal information, and hidden text. By default, all of them are selected, but we could deselect the items that don't concern us. We want to check for everything right now, so let's leave everything selected and inspect the document. The red exclamation point next to Document Properties and Personal Information tells us the Document Inspector found something we may want to remove. We can either choose to remove all the properties and the author, or leave them. Remember, if you choose to remove them all, and then later decide you want those properties, you will have to manually add them again. Let's go ahead and take all the identifying information out of our document. It looks like everything checks out now, so let's close the Document Inspector and return to the backstage view of our document. As we can see in the properties list, our personal information has been removed. The metadata contained in the document properties is a great place to store facts and information about your document, but you should always check this information before sending the document out into the world.